Okay, I've glued the head uh, parts together now. I'm nice and ready um, to be fitted to the main body now. There's a couple of pieces. These two. I haven't glued them in yet. If you can see them, those two pieces. I haven't glued them in yet because I'm going to put some decoration on those. I'll decorate them off the machine and plug them in later. They're not essential to the structure at the moment. So now I'm going to dry fit the main body. First of all, this plugs into the upper of the body. Like that. Hope we can see that. Okay. And then lay that flat and place the upright pieces in what I call, I don't know what you'd call them, bulkheads or whatever. So that one goes there. And they're awkward hand fisted. Never mind. It goes there. And I think there's going to be a bearing or something in there. This this piece, which is two pieces glued together, goes here. Continuation of the bearing mounts, I think. Uh, this one goes at the back, the open space upwards or downwards in this case because it's upside down and then we're ready to put the bottom on the bottom plugs in there to the ends first I guess There you are, that all fits together nicely, ready for gluing. One of the things I noticed is that if it's a tight fit and you you fitted it together and it's all gone together nicely, what you can do, instead of using wood glue, just wick a little bit of CA, um, super glue, into the gaps and uh, that should glue it adequately i hope uh, i've not actually done that i've used wood glue but if i'm going to build another one i might do it with super glue because i built model airplanes like that and don't forget these two bits here uh, it's difficult to see those in the manual but this one slides over here we see that and plugs in there and this one is tight fit goes in in here bit of a tight fit I might have to hammer that in place in a minute. Anyway, that one goes in there. So, this is ready for gluing. And according to the manual, the next bit to do is to glue the sides on. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the wheel in first because I want to be able to have access to the, to the mechanical bits. I think it's going to be difficult if I've put the sides in first. Also, I haven't quite decided what to do about the sides 
I'm not entirely in favour of having hundreds and hundreds of little slits in the side so that it can bend. What I'll probably do is machine grooves into the side only on one side um, so that it makes it easy to bend but the outside um, will be continuous uh, wood without any slots or marks in it. That's what I'm hoping to do. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know. Um, there's other things we could do. We could put uh, acrylic sides in so that you can see the workings. We could just put thin veneer or we could put a series of upright posts in. There's all sorts of different options for doing the sides and I haven't quite made up my mind what to do myself yet. Well, I've glued the body together now and that's um, all looking good. Um, so now what I'm going to do is uh, put the wheel in. Uh, but I've discovered that I need to start doing the printing really. So I've got to print the, the, um, the uh, bearing mounts and all that sort of thing. So I've started printing, it's printing away here. So my next task is to print out all the, all the bits and pieces. Um, for the bits that are visible I'm going to print them in wood. Uh, the ones that are to do with the bearings and that I'm going to print them in PET because it's quite um, uh, sturdy and hopefully it will wear well.